Hi, this week I chose the book How to Find an Elephant by Kate Banks. Okay. The best time to look for an elephant is on a dull day when the clouds hover on the horizon looking like spaceships and you're thinking of something to do. The best place to find an elephant is in the wild. You will need to pack some food and a pair of binoculars. You may want to take a flute and bring a blanket, one that's tasseled and brightly colored, with a story woven through the cloth to tell the elephant. Keep an eye out for elephant footprints. They look like this. See the footprints? But don't expect to hear the elephant's footprint footsteps because elephants walk on tiptoe. When you get thirsty, stop at a watering hole for a drink. While you are there, you can take a dip. And don't forget that elephants are fine swimmers. It may start to rain, but you can take shelter under a, under a large leaf. While you wait out the storm, play a tune on your flute. You are bound to be hungry, so find a soft, shady spot and have your lunch. In case an elephant decides to join you, gather some bamboo shoots and tree bark for the elephant to eat. You will need plenty because elephants have big appetites. No pizza or chips, please. At some point, you will probably bump into a chimpanzee. If you are feeling brave, ask if you can swing on its vine. Be sure to jump off when you see an eagle's nest and ask the eagle to carry you over the trees to the edge of the jungle. When you get there, take a good look around, and if you happen to spot something big and gray, tiptoe closer. You'll want to see if it's an elephant or not. If it's not an elephant, then you'll just have to keep looking. And if you begin to feel tired, go to the top of a hill that has long lush grass swaying in the breeze and some crickets to sing you to sleep. Spread out your blanket and lie down. Remind yourself to have sweet dreams of elephants. If you should be awakened by the ground shaking, and find yourself wrapped in a hug and lifted toward the sky, then you will know that an elephant has found you. And that's the end of the story. Did you guys notice that on every page in this book, there was an elephant in the background? So if you'd like to see the elephants, come in or have your parents come in and check out this book so you can see where all the elephants were hiding. Well, I'll see you again later. Thank you, bye.